Hey everybody, you're watching the Monday episode of CCS. My name is Cody and you're watching that Christian news show thing that I do. And before we get into the news, I have something awesome to tell you, and that's that I'm going to be giving away gift cards to C2A.com. If you know what Not of This World is, they're like the seller of Not of This World. And for me to give out these gift cards, I need 10 or more different subscribers to answer the question of the day below on this video or any video after this. I'm going to keep doing this for a while. So it'd be kind of cool because you guys get a free gift card. And the reason I'm having 10 or more subscribers before I do this is just so that it's not the same person winning every time. Because it get boring to me, it get boring to you guys. Well, I'm sure the winner wouldn't be all that bored. But I just wanted it to be something where it was kind of a competition. I will creepily ask you for your email, and then I will email you an online gift card. All you need is you go to c2a.com, and in the email there'll be an advertisement looking thing, and I'll have a code. You'll go to c2a.com and put that code in, and then you have $10 free for whatever you would like to buy. So I just wanted to say that before I get to the question of the day, because I usually do the question of the day in the end, and you guys would be like, what question of the day? And some of you probably wouldn't know about this at all, just because you don't get to the end of the show. So there's that, and get on to our first story. And our first story is about a small housing complex in Massachusetts, whose community is outraged because they can't have live Christmas trees in their house. They also can't have candles being burned in the house, because both at the same time would be causing a fire hazard. And part of me goes, yeah, I would be kind of angry too. But there's two things that make me angry about this story. One being that it made national news. It's like just a housing complex and the community got angry and this made national news that they couldn't have Christmas trees in their house? And two, it's Christmas trees. Why is the community getting so angry about Christmas trees when Christmas trees have nothing to do with Christmas? I get that it has like the icon of Christmas and all of that stuff and it's a family thing that people do, but it has nothing to do with Jesus whatsoever. Nothing in the Bible says anything about Christmas trees. So I don't see why people are getting so angry about the Christmas trees. It's just kind of ridiculous. And I figured I'd just give you guys that for the first story because it's so stupid. But our second story is something that I thought was pretty amazing. That's that studies have shown that internet evangelism is actually really, really effective. See, many churches you go to, they get caught up in the moment, and you'd be like, oh man, I just want to be a part of this. So you cry, and you worship for the first time, and you're like, oh, I'm a Jesus freak. And then you go, and you high-five a Christian, and it's just this, like, movie moment. You're like, ha, ah, I'm a Christian. And then you get home, and nothing changes. But internet evangelism, I think, is targeting people that are really intellectual and, like, want to learn the truth. And atheists are going to argue with me and be like, that's not the truth. But there's a lot of intellectual Christians that want the truth and they find that and they become a Christian because they see that as truth. Which is kind of me. I wouldn't call myself intellectual in any way. But I do like truth. Truth is nice. But it makes sense that people are watching these videos and going, you know, I'm going to be a Christian. And then they go and they research some more on how to be a Christian and, like, do the Christian thing and then become Devo Christians because all they're doing with their time is looking into this. Again, it's something that I did quite a bit so I can see how this is working. 34% are reading their Bible daily and almost 50% are praying over 10 minutes a day. So it's just a really cool thing to see that, like, the internet thing is really working. I feel like there's a lot of evangelism, but once you become a Christian, there's just not as much there. For you. So I figured this would be something that both people could get. People could watch this who aren't Christian and they'd be like, huh, maybe I want to look more into this. And then I've got something for the Christians and go, okay, this is cool. Either way, I love internet evangelism. I kind of have since I started being a Christian. So, like this story. And it's going to bring us to the question today is, do you believe that internet evangelism is working or do you think it's just stupid and that people should stay away from it and it's not working at all? As always, leave your answer in the comment section below. I always love to see what you guys say. And so our final story is about child trafficking. If you don't know what child trafficking is, it's where organizations abduct children and then sell them for slavery, usually for sex slavery. And this is a really, really sad thing, but we have good news today, and that's that 178 children were rescued and 608 suspects were arrested. The Chinese police busted two really big criminal rings that were child trafficking. And people are calling it the biggest thing since they started the national campaign against child trafficking. So what will be happening with these 178 children will be that they'll be put into different orphanages until they can find these kids as parents. So something that really struck me was like, these children had parents. These parents, like, knew these children, all of a sudden these children were gone. It's not like the trafficking trade was like, hey, by the way, we're taking your child. So it's really cool that they were rescued, but really sad that they gotta go and find these parents. So if you're really strongly about this, I'm leaving a link in the description below where you can actually donate to an organization that is against child trafficking. So that's about it. Prayers for these children, prayers for the parents, prayers for just this whole mess that's going on because it's really great, but yeah, it's really, really bittersweet in that sense. And since I don't have any other news stories, we'll go on to the verse of the day. And the verse of the day is Mark 9.42. And if anyone caused these little ones who believe in me to sin, it'd be better for him to jump into the sea with a large millstone tied around his neck. So, kind of a warning of the child trafficking, because you all suck.
Before I close up, I just wanted to remind you guys one more time that C2A gift cards will be given away if 10 or more subscribers comment in the comment section below with the answer to the question of the day, which was, do you think that online evangelism is working or not? So leave that answer. If 10 or more people leave an answer in the comment section below, you get a $10 gift card to C2A.com. So in closing, haters keep hating, Christians keep praying, and to everybody, like and subscribe. I will see you Thursday, and God bless.